In this video, I'll show you how to set up your mailing boss 5.0 step by step. You need to do this before you can run a successful email marketing. Now, if you have the form working already, you don't need to do this because by default, it's going to update in the 5.0. But the only thing you need to do is to download your subscribers from 4.0 to 5.0. And I don't have a tutorial on that yet. But it's easy to do. In case you want me to do it, you can drop a link in the description box and I'll do that as well. But it's not that difficult. With that established, let me tell you exactly what we need to do in this video. So, first, we need to create a business email address in Mailing Boss 5.0 before we can send email campaigns. First, I will show you how to create a business email address in Mailing Boss 5.0. Second, I will show you how to add a domain name to Mailing Boss 5.0. Third, send that email address in order for your emails not to end up in the spam folder. Fourth, I'll show you how to enable your SSL certificate because without this, Google will not promote your site, your landing page, or your blog post. All right. And last, I'll show you how to add or update your company profile. So before you do the setup, do you need a domain name connected to your account before you can create your business email address. In my previous video, I show you how to connect a domain name to Builder 5.0. So watch this video and connect your domain name first. I'll drop the link in the description box. Please watch it before you watch this video, all right? Because without, you cannot set up or you cannot do what I'm about to show you. Let me just close it. To access mailing boss 5.0, click on tools. So for those of you who don't know, the Builder 4.0 is about to end January 31st. So that's why I told you to export your subscribers to 5.0. I'll drop my Builder affiliate link in the description box. Please don't forget to use it and thanks in advance. If you don't have a setup, just click on the app sign, go through and choose whatever you need. Depends on the plan you have. This is the mailing boss 5.0 dashboard. Please pay attention and I'll show you what you need to do. So this is the domain that I connected in my previous video. So like I said, you need to watch it. All right, so now we need to create a business email address. So click on it. In your case, it might be just uh, one domain here. So once the arrow is pointing to the domain name, click on create email. So now I'm going to create the email. All right, let me just push this up a bit. And you have to make sure at least you have a 70 percent. All right. So I will do that quick. All right. So password. All right. So I need to confirm. All right. So everything is good. So in my case, I was able to go past 70, which is really good. That's why I have a hundred percent. Once that is done, click on create. So add it successfully. All right. So next I have to go to mailing boss and activate the SSL certificate of this domain name. All right. And this is the SSL certificate, you know, the padlock down here. I will show you something quick. So every domain should have this, the HTTPS. So if it's not secure, you're not going to have this padlock. Okay. All right. So we're going to go and activate this domain. All right, so we are done with this section right now, but we'll come back to it later on. So for you not to be confused, I'm going to close it when we need it, then I'll come back. All right, so if this is your first time, you're not going to have this check sign and this check sign as well. In my case, it's because I've set up already in the old system, which is the builder of 4.0. That's why I have these check signs because I have some campaigns in there already. All right, so click on domain. Okay, so as you can tell, we don't have that domain name here. We need to create a domain. I mean, technically, you need to add a domain, but here they say create a domain. Okay, so create a domain. All right, so you don't have to add HTTPS or www. You don't need to do that. So click on save. All right, so make sure you spell it right. Do you want to add senders for the above domain? And I'll say yes, add. So now we need to add sender name. So the sender name will be the same like the domain name, but this time around you write it properly. So it's going to be build or business. Then the email address. 
all right all right so when it's done click on save we sent a validation link to the to the sender's email please click on the link to validate your sender we'll go back locate this okay because this is what we are working on view email list all right so locate it and click on it again so most of the time this thing is down so you need to scroll down to get this click on access webmail enter the email and password all right so sign in okay so it's working so we have to check the mail all right so please click here in order to confirm your sender validation so click on it congratulations your sender validation is now complete all right so we're gonna go back here and see send that email okay so now we have it verified in sender email click on enable SSL so it's processing so I'll wait and I'll come back all right so let's try and refresh the page all right so you can go up here to click it first I'm gonna go to account I'll fill in the company name uh, the category let's see category will be you have to put in the zip code the country phone number don't add phone number packs don't but number don't then so just concentrate on this and put in your address here don't use your house address well it's up to you if you want to use house address that's okay. but i would advise you to get like a mailbox number which is what i'm gonna use for this and your website if you are branding yourself and stuff like that like your own business that's fine but if you are doing affiliate marketing please don't put your website name here just leave it empty okay all right so i'll fill this and i'll update 